Oh, landmines and jellyfish. Welcome back to Knives, I guess, and I've got to go pretty shortly. I've got a Sam Squanch in the driveway waiting to go get mozzarella sticks and soft tacos. But before we do that, Jen sent me another package or four. And so we have got these guys and these guys right here from Jen. These are G10 knife kits, and uh, they are the, the kits you put together with the G10 blades. These just came in. I haven't opened these boxes yet, so we're going to take a look at these together for the first time. And uh, I think these are the, the liner lock um, G10 kits. I do like, I dig the box. Um, it's just, it's colorful and it looks neat. All right, so this one's opened up. And so we got our liner lock kit. And uh, no, this is the lockback kit. Okay. Okay, so. I have got all the parts I need here to assemble a lockback knife. I have got my bit driver. I've got pieces. So, yeah, it looks like there's no metal liner on this. So that's what threw me. But um, this is also something I haven't had a lockback apart and put back together because they, uh, oh, what do you call it? The, the ones I have are all pinned together. They're not screws. So you can't really take them apart without destroying them. So these lockback kits are ones that have me very, very interesting. Or very interested. Sorry, it's early and words are hard. Uh, let's use a gin knife to open a gin knife. Eh. Which kit is this? Come on. So yeah, it'll be probably another day or two before I start hitting uh, videos on these guys. Um, work's going to be fun, and I'll have some time soon, not as fast as I'd like. Okay, and I got the, uh, the JG10 camouflage, um, uh, lockback kit. So that's also nice. The blades, yeah, they're probably going to be tape poppers or maybe puncturing some cardboard or something, but they're definitely not cutters. I was told they're not going to do the, uh, cardboard slayer test with the G10 blades. Um, I was given fair warning. All right, so we got those two out the way. And what do we got next? Another G10 made folding knife kit. Yeah, sorry, I'm not moving as fast as normal. I am not awake. I just wanted to get this done before I didn't have time to do it for a couple more days here. Alright, so what is in this one? Oh, dude! This one's a bit more of an experience. So we got our, we got our instructions right here. And uh, we're going to definitely check those out. We got some stickers. Also a nice touch. We have got our Torx driver. We got our backspacer. And then these are the scales and liners that we have. And uh, again, this is the kind of stuff that also needs to show up on the Captain Knife Kit. Like, this is definitely cool. It's a cool touch. Um, but the blade itself, um, blade shape, the, the blade shape itself is really good for, uh, oh, what do you call it? Brain fart. An EDC, that's a that's a good drop point blade that would have been great in a steel, 8CR, uh, D2. So, yeah, this is definitely cool. This is also good, again, for someone, if you don't want to hand somebody something sharp, because either they're not, they don't know, under, uh, they don't understand knife safety, or something like that, this is a good way to go. We're going to take a look at the last kit that I have, which uh, I think is one of the ones that I wanted, and uh, give you a, a little bit of a example of what me and Randy been talking about with the, uh, the variations on the scales. Oh, wow, they gave it its own uh, packaging, too. Um, so this is space exploration themed. I didn't realize they were going to give it its own separate box. That is actually pretty damn cool. All right, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we got our instructions. 
We got some space exploration stickers. This is nice. I like this. I like the stickers. And the instructions are like a, a silhouette of the planet Saturn with the rings. But yeah, here we go. This is this is what we were talking about. So I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure this is sublimated on here, but you've got this on the scales. So this is the kind of thing that we definitely want to see pop up with uh, more iterations of the Captain Knife Kit or future knife kits they make. This one also has a, a rubberized uh, insert for right here of the planet Earth. So that's a lot of neat touches. Um, I'm going to have an abundance of uh, T8 drivers by the time this is all said and done. And uh, I may save a couple of these for giveaways in the future. I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. But I am going to have fun putting at least two of these together and seeing how they go. But this is all the stuff that just showed up from Jen in the, uh, in the mail. Um, guys, thank you so, so much. Um, again, huge thanks in the comments for these guys. Uh, we're definitely going to take a look at these kits, get them put together, see how they feel, and we'll go from there. But go back in the box. There's also a Christmas-themed version of this one, too. Um, I do, I think it's either this one or the liner lock, but they do have a Christmas version. So that is what came in from Jen. Um, all that being said, eh, eh. thanks for looking at my crap. Uh, subscribers, you guys are awesome. Y'all are still coming in. We are slowly grinding out that first thousand to, so we can do the one K giveaway. I appreciate it so much. Comments. I love some feedback. Let me know what you thought about those things. And all that being said, y'all have a nice day.